Hi, welcome to Home Tech Adventure, where we help you use and maintain computers and related equipment in your home. Today we are going to be creating a rescue USB with Macrium Reflect. I already have a USB that's set up for that. It has nothing on it right now, but it will in just a moment. Hopefully you've already downloaded Macrium Reflect. We're going to start from that assumption. It's not too hard to do. You can download the free version as well. Stay tuned for the full details. I have inserted the USB stick into the computer. Let's take a look at what it says here. It's a blank E drive. Yeah, whatever. The trouble is it's actually GPT formatted and you might encounter this because Macrium Reflect needs a MBR formatted disk to do the rescue uh, USB stick. So let's reformat it and uh, clean it up. By the way, this method, the Macrium Reflect is going to use the entire USB stick if you do it by this method. There are ways to do it the other way, but in today's day and age, it's only a couple bucks for a USB stick. So I just say use the entire uh, USB stick for just the rescue USB. Don't try to use it for other things. So anyway, let's close this and then let's go into the command prompt and we have to run it as administrator. So we right click and choose run as administrator, click yes, and then click disk part. Now it usually takes a little longer to start disk part, but I've been doing this a lot. So it kept it in quick memory there. List disk is the first command that we do. And we can see we got disk one, which is our USB stick. It's 7,000 megabytes, which is 7.5 7 uh, 7 gigabytes. It's an eight gigabyte flash drive. So once we have that done, we got to select the disk, select disk one, which is the one that we want. And then we can check it by list disk. And you check it and you can see that disk one is selected. You can see it is GPT formatted by the little star there. So let's clean it and it will be MBR formatted once we clean it. So all I got to do is just type clean because I have already selected disk one. Be careful you don't select the wrong disk. If you clean uh, the wrong disk, you could lose a lot of data very quickly. So make sure you have the right disk selected. But anyway, let's check clean here. Okay. And then it, it doesn't have any format on it. So it just says, oh, please insert a disk. Um, it just gets all confused. But anyway, let's go list disk. And you can see that we are cleaned. Um, it didn't change the format. So you might encounter this. Let's just convert it to MBR. There. Now let's list disk again. And there we go. Now we got an M MBR partition disk with nothing on it. And we can do our creation of the media. Let's exit here. Exit twice and that'll get out of it. Let's go to Macrium Reflect and you choose other tasks, create rescue media. You can see our disk here. It should be all set up to go. I like to show more and just double check that everything's right. And I just leave it at default for the most part. Um, notice I have both these checked. Check for missing devices, drivers on boot and enable multi-boot uh, recommended for your system. So we do that. Uh, if you click the advanced, Notice that Windows RE is chosen and that is the default and really that's probably the best from what I've read. So we're going to choose that. Um, options, I'm just going to leave it at the default. Um, device and drivers and rescue media, that's all okay. Let's just hit cancel. If you need some help, if you want to maybe do some of these other options, click this help thing and a website will come up. It's a very good website. Macrium did a good job of describing all the different options that you can do if you want to. But we're going to just stick with the default one. It works perfectly fine for my computers and probably for yours too. Let's click build and it should build the USB thing. Um, that came up with nothing on it. Okay, it's creating the USB media. And this might take a little bit of time. We'll skip ahead a little bit quick here. All right, now it's done creating the USB drive and we just click OK and let's close out a Macrium Reflect and let's check our USB drive and see if we got it. We do. Look at all these things here. That's what it is. Um, and that's the full version of Macrium Reflect. 
If you want to see me actually use it, watch the video that's listed next to me. It shows how to create an image from a drive and then restore the image back to another drive. And I do that on an HP Omen laptop. Remember, have fun on your own home tech adventure.